Hello and welcome to Crew Motor Match. My name is Greg and today we're going to be taking a look around this Jaguar XF. It's a 2 litre petrol shooting brake, it's also an automatic and it's a portfolio. At the rear you do get a power tailgate with the click of a button on the key it does open and it does come with a privacy blind and a flat loading area which is plentiful for your weekly shopping, maybe a set of golf clubs and definitely your suitcases for that weekend away that you deserve. As you can see there the privacy blind does extend the full length to keep your personal belongings safe. Onto the interior you've got a very decorative door insert with the Jaguar embossed full leather upholstery which is very comfortable and also electronically adjustable. The driver however is the lucky one that gets to use the full leather wrapped multifunctional steering wheel with controls for the cruise control and also the multimedia functions. There's paddle shifters should you want a more sportier drive and you've got a semi digital dashboard up ahead with all the driving information that you could need for your day to day drives with the likes of a digital speedometer and traffic sign recognition. For your entertainment needs is the touchscreen infotainment system which is a very nice and handy thing to have, it's just like operating your phone but on a screen. You've got access to satellite navigation which does help you in the unknown roads and ensuring that you're not getting lost. The multimedia section is where you'll find your time if you're a big music fan, you can connect your phone via bluetooth and operate that or you can access the DAB FM or AM radio. Keeping you in touch with your family and friends is the telephone application. This car is also an absolute dream to park with its rear view cameras and also sensors. You've got access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and via this screen you can operate the three setting functions on the heated seat controls which is very handy especially in them cold winter months. Which does lead me on to that climate control, it is a dual zone climate control which is extremely handy and saves a lot of arguments between the passenger and the driver as everyone can be at their preferred temperature. It's very nicely laid out. And just below you do get the storage compartment and your automatic transmission and you've also got this lovely wood effect. Here you can see the driving mode selection, just by pressing one of those arrows it will operate the dynamic mode, the normal mode and also a comfort mode and you do get an economical one. Moving back to the centre console you have got two cup holders which can be neatly hidden away if you want to store more personal belongings. 